uh, Ashin. Ali Khan, welcome. Yeah. Uh, hello, yes. Thanks for having me. Okay, thank you very I, much. I, I just joined in the last few moments of your other participants in which he mentioned a Quranic ayat which says, Thalik al kitabu la raiba fi. Yep. Okay. So, what is the topic here today? That is the topic that La Rikal Jemfu believe in unseen. Right. And what is, what is the okay. foundation of believing unseen in the, in the, in the present day science? Those who claim themselves that we are scientific, we want to get proof of existence of uh, God, and we don't uh, uh, have any. Uh, we, we are not ready to accept anything which is beyond of our knowledge, empirical knowledge, and our science. So in that case, if you, right. you, you, you nobody have ever uh, able to prove the existence of Allah, so why you are talking uh, bullshit? Uh, sure. We are not going to face uh, this. That is the topic. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Since your since the last participant was rather scientific and he has scientific knowledge and background, would you kindly give me some empirical evidence of God's existence and some deductive evidence that I can deduct? to which uh, after deducting uh, it leads to God and God's existence. Uh, you, you want for me to give some deductive argument on, uh, that will prove that no, no, uh, God exists? What? Yes, yes. Uh, and, and, uh, but first I asked, uh, I need some empirical evidence of God's existence. You need some empirical evidence of God's existence. Okay. Yeah. First of all, we know there are two kinds of evidences. In the field of evidence, uh, one is uh, circumstantial evidence, and another one is direct evidence. Am I right? Uh, I'm listening. Uh, so the circumstantial evidence tells us uh, that uh, if the direct evidence is not available, then the circumstance, after considering the circumstances and the surroundings, the ju judge uh, tries to come to a deductive reasoning that it happened, uh, not by just watching it, okay. but uh, in, so in presence of such kind of sure. uh, evidence, then they go for circumstantial evidence, right? Uh, no, I would like to know first, why is there no real evidence? Why should we go for something else? Huh. So, I mean, that, why, that is the problem. Why is God ashamed exactly. of, or why exactly. does God fear why doesn't God give any evidence of, of, of his existence? Is God fearful of us or God doesn't like us? Why hmm. is he so mysterious? And yeah, what is the reason behind him remaining a mysterious figure? You, you main, your, main, your main topic is that, your main uh, comment is that why we can't see God? Why we can't uh, uh, witness God? That is what you are trying to say, right? If God yes. exists, then we sh must have have the evidence, the real evidence. Okay. Now I can. I, I am going to ask you something about the real evidence. You want to get the uh, uh, evidence through your empirical knowledge, right? Through your five senses, or what? I mean, you want to get uh, evidence by, by the use of your five senses, right? Right, you are talking with right uh, with me now. You are getting my voice by your ear, so you are understanding that somebody is talking. So you are absolutely sure that there is a speaker behind you who is talking with you because you are getting his information directly by your sense. You want to understand God by this way, right? Uh, I don't see the connection here. Please, um, please no, provide, uh, like I said, let me... What kind of evidence yeah. you want? That I have to understand first before going to answer you, ma'am. That is why I'm, I'm no. asking you what kind of evidence you are actually meaning to understand the no, existence I, of God. That you want to I, see him by I your need, eyes. Uh, you want to see so, him by so watching him need, by your eyes. You want to uh, I, I understand him by physical, touching him. I, I need physical, concrete evidence. Ha, that's what I am asking you, part by part. Physical means you want to have that capacity and uh, that uh, uh, 
he he must be reachable to you he must be touchable to you he must occupy a space and you can be visible by your eyes he his voice or whatever can be heard by your ears that is the evidence you are meaning right yes i need concrete evidence that like i said ha, again that, that is what leads... i am telling what is the, what is the definition of your concrete evidence is a uh, to be understood by me what do you mean by that concrete evidence what i am say, uh, what i am saying is that your concrete evidence will you be satisfied when you'll be able to watch him by your own eyes when he will come in front of me by occupying a space and you can touch him or you can watch him by your eyes by your retina uh, that will be your concrete evidence am i right Yes, but I don't necessarily really want to touch him, but I want to see him in no, no, in, whatever in it is. Form. You want to see it him means, in a physical form, right? It well, means yes. Okay, then he must have some physical properties to be a well, physically if formed. Ex- if he exists, because in the Quran, no, 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 he, no, no, Quran don't uh, sub- don't tell anything. If I am just uh, walking on your road. i am not deviating no. from your road okay so the no, physical for, for, evidence means all, he I, must have listen you. listen the physical yeah. evidence means he must have physical properties isn't it well okay have you finished now i am asking why uh, why shall i am not yet finished because your answer is not okay. yet been answered i i am understanding well, what well, you want time... to mean what you want to mean by No, material no, I, evidence that uh, for, uh, that is to be understood for us okay you okay. need for you so many things i have said i hold on hold on please allow me okay, to finish sure, my sentence sure. initially sure. i start i started off uh, uh, that i require empirical evidence which can be deducted uh, i want some sort of deductive evidence that uh, leads to god's existence that is what Then i you am having trying failed to that. You, no no oh, that please, is what i am please, that, that respect, is what with respect With okay. respect, may I okay, finish my sure. sentence, please? Sure, sure. Carry yes. on. Uh, uh, and then, and then, and then, and then you went to some other vague arguments or vague examples. Then I asked, I need for, physical, for example, concrete for, evidence for, of his existence. No, no, no. For example, which one is which one was my vague uh, definition? You give me the uh, uh, example. Right now, I am talking with you. Which y- one y- you y- think? Yeah. Yeah. Y- You gave me some examples. You talking to me, or I'm talking to you, and we are hearing each other, and I can find God in this. That no, no, I, I didn't say. Why are twisting twisting the matter? I didn't say that. I am try, trying to understand how. What is the way of understanding of yourself to know or to be sure about the existence of God? For example, as I am talking with you, you are talking with me. so you can feel that there is a person behind that and you have this d- deductive understanding that there is a person so you want to understand god in this way or what that is what i am asking you what is your deductive or physical or evidential okay. proof you mean okay to understand all right okay the now the existence of god Right. Okay. Now, if we go into the Quran, in which no, no, uh, God uh, uh, says He can see. Hmm? No, hold on, please. You're coming from a religious point of view. I would like to make my point here. If God can see, if God can touch, if God can sit on His arch, uh, and he, God has some physical or some characteristics of human beings in that context of the Quran, if somebody sees obviously he has to have eyes without eyes nobody sees so god can see yes you carry on and then god hears go go uh, samir allah uh, god god hears and god sees and god can touch and god can do things so uh, making i mean uh, sort of adding all those together if something has eyes is if something has hands and if some something can someone or something can see then surely these are characteristics of a human being like god so uh, are are you going to the quran and trying to understand of god or are you depending on your empirical knowledge to understand the god which one you have to come no. to one point no, no, I, for... i can't twist you can't twist you want you want to know no, not, the I'm existence of here. god I'm... no no what you are I'm saying i'm not twisting here yeah you are twisting yeah, i'm not twisting here, here. In, in that way let me say 
you are twisting her in that okay. way. If it is being said in the Quran, then he must have this, he must have that. That is not your consideration. Your consideration is that, that God must be seen. God must be watched. If he exists, that is your point. Yes. Or what? That is your platform. Yes. Yes, Stay yes. On the God, God must be seen, seen or heard. Yes. So and okay. heard. I would like to and see. He, he, must yes. be, he must be reachable. Right. Must be, must be well, reachable to, to you. Reach him. I, uh, I don't want to reach him even if he exists. No, no. But, but, uh, whether, you want, whether, whether you want or not, that's different. But he must be reachable if anybody want to. Right? Right. Because okay. Okay, fine. Then, then the first two. Yes. So, so the criteria is now been set up of the existence of God, according to you, is that he must be seen as an object. Yes. And he must occupy a space where I can have my eye power to watch him. Uh, the yes. reflection of the light, all these things. Yes. And he, yes. He, he must be reachable, whether I desire to reach him or not. Yeah? The uh, three. Yes. Okay. So now, I am asking you that the first of all, God himself said that I have created everything. This is the criteria of God. He's the creator. And he created everything. Okay. Now, if he wants to be seen by you, then he must have a formation. And he must occupy a space. Oh, and, okay. Can I, can I ask uh, a no, question no. here? What I am trying to say no. about the formation of an object. We are right now yes. supposing God as an object. Un unless mm. otherwise you won't be able to see him. Right? He must be an object. Mm. A physical object. He must have some uh, uh, properties that will occupy a space. Am I right? He must have a mm. form. He must have a form, yeah. whatever the form it is, he must have a form. And so we know, according to the physics, that a matter, he must be a matter. Yeah. Am I right? He must be a matter. So according, according to physics, the matter has the masses. It has properties. And the properties are, are electron and protons, right? Uh, this is you're you're now you're now deflecting from the view. This you're is, going this into is too what, much. This is, is this too many, is this what science says? Details and these details. No, no, no. Let me tell you. Is this uh, is this on. all that science, what science says uh, about a property about uh, a on, matter? Please, please, no. Hold on, hold on. Everything that you're saying, the property, the matter, and the fortunes, and all that. All this was not in, is, is not in the Quran or is not given by God. I, I'm not and also you said, we, God, we please just, allow me to we, finish. You, you said God created everything. So who created God in the first place? If it exists, it's, it's, everything has to be existed. No, no. God first of all, listen, listen, brother, listen. First of all, you have to find, you have to solve the first question. Then we can go to the second question, right? The question is that God, yeah. the existence is God must be proved by our capacities. That is what you are trying to say. So forget about Quran for the time being. Suppose the God of the religion. Every each and every religion talks about God, right? So we are talking about the God. Whether he can be seen and watched or he is a matter. That is what we have to understand right now. A matter is to be seen. Can you see anything which is not a matter? I am taking, talk, talking about physics. What physics talks about matter. What is a matter is to be defined. That is what I am trying to say. If God is a matter, only then we will be able to see him. And photon is not a matter. That's why we are not able to see that. But we are not denying its existence. Nobody can deny it. I am trying to say that object must have it's matter. Am I right? According to the physics? I'm talking about science. He left. I, I am giving him the chances, but he is not defining sh uh, no sound. Uh, want to come again? You want to come again? I'll, I'll 
আলী খান I am talking right now. Uh, uh, isn't it clear uh, to the other persons? Ishad Rahim, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. 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 Yes,